Okay, so what were we doing? You're right, heading over here. What the hell is that? What? It's like a giant rock column with some interesting design features on it. It's like a heart right in the middle. If we fly through that, I wonder if we activate something. Or if we climb all the way to the top. There's probably at least a Korok or something up there. Ooh, look at all the Zoomness things, guys. Definitely want to grab those. Oh, and all this loot that I missed? Jesus. Oh, nice, I got a rusty shield. <laughs> we'll use that for surfing. And it occurs to me I haven't actually cooked anything for quite a while. I'll probably handle all that stuff in like an off-camera session. Relatively soon. I'm not really feeling it yet, although we are out of a lot of, like, the, uh, defense and attack and stamina restoration potions, so we should probably refill those soon. There's certain types of potions that we use way more than others, and I need to be cognizant of that. Okay, this hammer's about done for. So at some point I'm gonna have to go back and get another hammer anyway from my house. Unless the game is kind enough to just drop one in my lap. But how often does that happen, really? Almost never is the answer. There's another snowy mountain up there. Not Lanayru Mountain, though. I wonder how many snowy mountains are in this game. How many areas are cold areas that will murder us if we don't have the proper equipment? Because I haven't really spent a ton of time spelunking those areas, but... Man, it seems rough. Wow, that did... Pretty decent damage, too. It's just like, for how large the areas are in this game, you would think that, like... You'd be able to make potions that last a lot longer. So I'm not sure we'd be able to fully explore everything we want to... ...with the potions that we have right now. Hmm, that's a pretty decent boomerang right there. Do I have one that already has been used? Not really. Oh, but I'll get rid of that broadsword for it. Hell yeah. And here's a core rock. These things sometimes take me longer than they should. I don't know, there's something about it, although this one actually seems pretty simple. Grab this blow right here. Stick him right there. Arigato! That's Japanese for thank you, in case you didn't know that. <laughs> so, there's a shrine. Let's head straight for that. If we're gonna talk the talk, we gotta walk the walk, right guys? We gotta do what I said. Look at this water down here. What is this? This is... Strock Lake. Okay. I don't think I'd be able to see. Ah, you look! I totally can see the chest from right there. Although, I think I'm gonna need Cryonis to get it. And I don't think I have a good place to stand here. Ah, this should work actually. Or is it right there? Okay, let's just grab this while we're here. See a shitload of fish in there too. Wonder if any of them are Hyrule Bass. Maybe I should go fishing while I'm here too. Just start collecting them, you know? <laughs> Yay, shock arrows. Um hmm, wonder. Oh no! Blood moon coming. I wonder if I kill the fish and loot them. Oh, this is Chilfin Trout. This blue trout prefers cold bodies of water. Its skin contains enzymes to keep its body cool, and when cooked into a dish, it will temporarily boost your heat resistance. Excellent. I need all the chillfin trouts for when we go to the Goron area. Which I wish was happening sooner. But I gotta stick to my plan. That's all of them here. This is just gonna happen while I'm climbing. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, Zelda. I do wish that was like a different cutscene sometimes. I would actually watch it if they just mixed it up a little bit. But at this point, it's like, what is the point of watching it? Hint, there is none. It doesn't exist. Sorry, guys, if I seem like I'm in a weird mood today. I'm actually really tired. It's weird. I got a ton of sleep last night, and then and I woke up just like fucking exhausted. I don't know why. Like, I don't usually get as much sleep as I got last night. I think I slept for like nine or ten hours. Maybe I overslept. That's a thing, isn't it? People say it's a thing, at least. I don't know how much of a thing it truly is. Ooh, so that... That shrine we were looking at, it looks like it actually is part of... The Rito Village, because I think this is it right here. This certainly looks like a Rito Village. Huh. I wonder if we should try to, like, fly into it from here or actually go the right way. I did see a stable over there, too. Maybe we'll stop and hit the stable along the way just to check it out. But first, we will wreck these guys. Put that shit away. I told you to put that shit away. You won't put it away, guys. There we go. Ooh, hot for the frog. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Hey, buddy. <laughs> that was bullshit. I shot him while he was in the middle of blowing that horn, and it just kept blowing. It's all this stuff. It's just a garbage heap. Ah, what the fuck? What the fuck did that guy just throw at me? Ow! He damn near killed me. Oh, he must have thrown an explosive barrel. He's about to throw another one. Damn. Shit just got real, real quick, guys. I was not prepared for that. Alright, let's just eat all this random food. And I still have two pages of stuff though. It's crazy. Oh fuck you. You threw it the wrong way, dumbass. Alright. Check this out. I wonder if I can pull this off. Yeah! There it is! Put that in your horn and blow it, you piece of shit. I was scared he was going to shoot me before I could get there. <laughs> but I just barely made it. These boomerang weapons are so good. Because not only can you throw them like a freaking boomerang, but they function as one-handers, which I really like, and their durability seems off the chain, too. Like, I just... If I had, like, a whole inventory just full of nothing but boomerangs, I wouldn't even be mad. I have to figure out how the hell to get up on top of this place, though. Probably should just fly to it from up here. That'll probably be the easiest thing. Hey, what's that? Growing on the cliff there. Oh, Swift Violet. Okay. For a second I thought it was something new. But it is not. Ah! <laughs> I thought I might have been able to pull that off, but no. I was gonna say, that second to last one really seemed like a headshot to me, but it didn't count as one. More shock arrows. They really want me to have shock arrows in this region. Weird. I thought shock arrows were like the big thing in the Zora region, and it would be something different here. I don't know what exactly. I wish bomb arrows were the big thing in every region. That's the other thing. So I know that they sell those at that shop in, I think it was in Hateno? They're so expensive. I just want to go back there and dump all my rupees into that shop for bomb arrows. Like, every day, but I know that that's, like, not the best idea. But if I had more of them, I would use them more frequently. Oh, oh, we got a pedestal here. Almost certainly part of some shrine quest, but we don't know what. What up, shoes? Okay, let's, uh... I like that plan we had going on before, where we were making these fire shoes. I think that's better loot. Why didn't that set him on fire? That was bullshit. 
Oh, it's blowing away my, my loot. No, get back here. Stupid updraft. Although that's pretty nice when they just jump into the fire for you. <laughs> this thing looks badass too. I, I actually, I do like this weapon. I mean, I haven't used it against like real enemies, but against Chews, it's actually quite useful. Look at that. Just one or two shots and you get some sweet red choo-choo jelly. It's pretty nice, guys. Also, that formation makes a lot more sense now, now that I know it's actually the home of the Rito. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out the stable. There's probably some decent quests there. We might be able to meet Picongo and get another hint about our next memory photo. Which I am very much excited to do. Actually, let me check on that real quick. If we check the album... Go to the memories. We've gotten five of them. Is that it? I actually thought we had a little more. That's not bad, though. There are 12 total. So when we get one more, we'll be halfway there with the memories. Not bad. Not bad progress, guys, considering how much of this game we still haven't even been to. Some of these memories are really nice, too. The last one we got was, like... Kind of heartbreaking. Like, why was Zelda being such a bitch to Link? I don't know. It's interesting the different types of relationships they have across games. Like, in the earlier Zelda games, it was always kind of implied that they had a kind of a, like, a romantic thing going. And then, like... You get to something like Ocarina of Time, where they were, like, childhood friends, and, uh... There wasn't really a lot of romance going on there. It was just more like... They had respect for each other, and they were friends. But it never really went beyond that, because they were both kids for a lot of that game, I guess. And by the time they were adults, shit was, like, really real, so... They never really had a chance to be more than that. And then you get something like Wind Waker, where they're kids for the whole game. And it would just be really weird if they had, like, a romance angle. And then in this game, it's, it's almost like a political arrangement type deal. Where Zelda has, like, a lot of resentment for Link. And you're just like, what is the deal here? I'm barely paying attention to these Octoroks right now. Where the fuck was that other one? What's with this bundle of leaves here? That was weird. I know there's one more Octorok. <laughs> Fucking wolves. You never learn. You never learn. Ah, uh, oh, shit. They always pop up as soon as I get distracted by something else. It's kind of, like, amazing programming. How they just know when to come up and be annoying. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking cool. Oh, I set myself on fire, though. Oh, no. I like that you get to do, like, three of them with every shot. It's like some Super Mario shit. Fire flower power. Yeah, brah. Okay. Oh, god damn it. God damn this guy. There he is. Come here, you little fucker. How about I burn you? Oh, oh, banked off the tree. Shit. <laughs> These fireballs have some, uh, some bank property. That's kind of awesome. Yeah, there you go. Now you're on fire, fucker. Yeah, burn. Kill it with fire. Kill all the Octoroks with fire. And then wait for their loot to come down. Because... <laughs> It's literally just floating there. That's hilarious. If I kill the deer... Oh, I spooked him. Damn it. I was gonna say, if I kill him with this, will they be cooked already? Because that'd be kind of awesome. That's really satisfying, killing these things with the fire rod. Ooh, hearty salmon. This fish makes its home in cold water, giving it extra layers of fat. Temporarily increases your max hearts. Nice. I ran into the fire because I wanted to grab the loot before it burned away. I think it actually worked out in my favor, so... It's pretty cool. This weapon's freaking dangerous for this area, though, guys. I could burn this whole goddamn forest down if I'm not careful. <laughs> Breath of the Wild. More like Contempt of the Wild. Because... I'm just gonna kill everything. The fire. It totally cooked it for me! Oh, that's so cool! Seared Prime Steak! Straight from the ground. I love it. This is a cool, like, uh, lumberjack type area. You can tell that there's, like, just a lot of forest work going on here. 
Oh, what was that? More shrooms. Hmm. Wonder if there's like a lot of wood I could loot here. Read out stable. Okay. Oh, there's a new axe for me. Very nice. Let's see what all they have for us. We got some wild berries. I thought there'd be just like bundles of wood laying around, but I actually don't see anything like that. Hey, it's Cass! Of course he'd be here. That motherfucker really gets around though. <laughs> like, every single section of the map we go to. There's Cass. Hey, look, here comes Beetle too. He must be programmed to show up at like any stable that you're near. He just kind of shows up meandering towards you. <laughs> I also buy stuff. Whoa! You made it all the way here? You're almost as crazy as Beetle! What are you looking for? Or are you selling? Oh. Do we have anything to sell? I'm not actually sure right now. I'm holding on to my diamonds for upgrade purposes. And I don't really, I don't think I have anything else specifically that I was like, yeah, I should sell all those. Got 142 jellies. They sell for five a pop, so that's actually a decent profit if I were to sell them all, but I don't think I really need to right now, to be honest with you guys. Let me uh, sort that and just take a look around. We're kind of getting into the point where I need a lot of crazy stuff for upgrades, so I don't think I actually want to sell a ton of these. Oh, 34 Luminous Stones for 70 a pop? That ain't bad. That ain't bad. I know we could trade in 10 of them for like a diamond, but... That's like... Uh, I mean, I know I'll find diamonds eventually as long as I'm diligent about looting things, so... I kind of don't care to do that. <laughs> Okay, and he's got the usual stuff. Let's buy out his arrows. Wow! 120. Uh, that's a lot. Maybe I should sell some of those luminous stones. And one bundle of 10 for 45. Okay. But we gotta have arrows, guys. We gotta keep our stock up, you know? I got a good suggestion from a commenter. I think it was Hannah Martinez said I could go. I could go uh, loot arrows around the Zora area because they were just dropping a ton of them when I was like running up through that area. They were dropping like bundles of them, and that's a good suggestion. Uh, I might do that if it comes to it. Right now, I think I actually have a decent stock, so I don't mind just spending the rupees to keep the stock, you know, at a high level as I need to. But if I, you know, if something goes crazy wrong and I find myself at zero, then I'll certainly spend some time off camera doing that. Oh man, we got people to talk to here. I don't see a girl here at the horses, so we probably can't make changes to our horse here either. Which sucks. This guy needs curry rice. Lester says, the thing about me is, I just can't get enough spice in my life. Spicy! I need that Bernie tingle. I need curry rice! Now, I have Hylian rice on hand, which I need to make curry rice, but I'm fresh out of Goron spice. There's a thing such as Goron spice? I want all the Goron spice. I can't just run off and leave the stable. If you happen to get your hands on some Goron Spice, can you give it to me? I mean, yeah, I kind of want to keep it all for myself, but... <laughs> you seem like a nice old man. <laughs> Thank you kindly, sonny boy. Curry rice always warms me right up. Cool. Curry for what ails you. Come on. Come on, Nintendo. <laughs> Ponto says, Grahaha. My guy. You're here to do... The thing, right? The thing? Oh. Come on, you know, the thing! Climbing the snowy mountains. I was confident I could handle the cold, so I didn't wear anything special, but the Hebrew Mountains are really cold. Like, seriously cold. Cold enough to send you to your grave, I'd say. So be careful out there, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. Shouldn't your beard keep you warm, bro? You got a pretty righteous uh, chin fur coat going on there. He looks so, like, happy, too. Look at this guy. He's... He looks like just crazy happy to be alive. Like nothing gets this guy down. Every second of his life is just the best moment anyone could ever experience. I wish I was that guy. I'm jealous of him. Hey, who are you, person? Uh? Ariane says, hello, do you need a bed? I mean, if you're in it, then you know what I'm saying? Also, she has like the most normal name of anyone I've seen in this entire game so far. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh? <laughs> oh, I see. Tell me about this area, though. Where am I? Ha! Uh, huh, are you lost or something? This is Rito's stable. 
We can help you with horse affairs at the counter outside, or you can stay the night at the inn inside. If you're wondering why we call this place Rito Stable, well... You see that tower over there? We took our name from the Rito people who live there. Yeah, thanks for that drop of knowledge right there. I definitely would have never figured that one out. Cass, what do you got for me? Ah, we meet again. I'm glad to see you in one piece. We're actually very close to my hometown of Rito Village, and I must admit I'm feeling incredibly homesick. Well, you could just take two seconds to fly over there, and you won't be homesick anymore. I had to leave my wife and children back in the village. I'm sure they're doing just fine. That's a little fucked up. You have a wife and kids, and you leave them just to go stand in random places and play your fucking accordion? Okay. But you see, I cannot go home until I fulfill my promise to my teacher. What promise? Mm. My promise to... On second thought, now is not the time. But if I'm able to learn all the ancient songs, I will tell you of my promise back in my hometown. Oh. But listen to me blathering on. I need to focus on my craft. I happen to know a song about the ancient hero. It was passed down to me by my teacher. Do you care to hear it? Okay, sure. Oh. Excellent. Without further ado... Wait, is this the same shit? Yeah, we've heard this, like, twice already, I think. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be something new. Never mind. Thank you for listening. I didn't listen. I completely skipped your shit. <laughs> I guess... You know, I think the last time he played that for us was also at a stable, so I guess he only has new things when he's, like, out in the wild. That makes sense. I'll have to try to remember that. I'm sure I'll forget in, like, ten seconds. Here's a book. Rumor Mill Volume 2. Of course we want to read it. We want all the hot gossip, guys. Greetings from Tracy, your source for the best gossip and news. Have you been hearing any good stories on your travels? I've got a great one for you today. The dark, or the sword that seals the darkness. The only one who can wield this sword carries the blood of the hero in their veins. That's what they say about this special blade. Rumor has it that the blade has been hidden away in a forest somewhere. I have to admit that this, that this rumor really has me interested, but sometimes you have to face reality. My reality is there isn't any hero in my bloodline, so this sword would just be a big paperweight to me. Tracy's recommendation? One out of five stars. Dag. I mean, I confess that the Master Sword isn't like everything that I was hoping it would be in this game. But it's certainly worth at least, like, three out of five stars. I'd give it a solid four. I mean, it really shines when you're fighting, you know, the Ganon people. But I, I do wish that the durability went a little bit longer than it does. I understand why the system's in place. I understand why it has to be there. I just wish it was a little better. I'm not asking for anything crazy. Look at this recipe here, though. That's a crazy-ass recipe. What is all that? Okay, so... Uh, wheat, meat, goat butter, milk, and a spicy pepper. I think that's everything. Um, is there a certain kind of wheat? Because I think we found a couple different kinds, actually. Is there one that, like, matches the picture exactly? Hylian rice? That... No, it's this stuff right here. It's tabantha wheat, that's what it is. So we need tabantha wheat, goat butter... Meat, milk, and a spicy pepper. So, hold that. Um, we got milk right there. We got one goat butter. <laughs> We're going to use it up. We will throw in one piece of raw meat. And one spicy pepper. There we go. I can't hold that here. Thank you. Thank you for that jankiness. Good stuff. Okay, let's try that again. Spicy pepper. To be at the wheat. Milk. Goat butter. Meat. Okay, we better get something awesome for this. <laughs> Spicy meat stew. Grants low-level cold resistance. The hearty meat in this mainstay dish leaves belly satisfied all throughout Hyrule. It's only one level of cold resistance, and it lasts for six minutes. Well, it's not the worst recipe. I'll take it. I don't know if I'll ever make anything like that again. Mainly because I'll forget. I feel like the goat butter didn't really add anything to that. I wonder what function it performs. Maybe just gave us like a couple more hearts? I don't know. I thought I had more than just the one stick, but I guess I don't. Oh, there's the wood I was looking for. I knew there had to be some around here. <laughs> 
turns out there's actually not as many people in this stable as I thought that there were. I think we actually talked to everybody already. So now we need to climb up here and check for Koroks. We are eternally fated to climb all the structures in this game and look for these little bastards because we still need so, so many of them. I gotta tell you guys, I like, if, in case this wasn't painfully obvious, I'm not going to 100% this game in this Let's Play. That would take so long, it would be so ridiculous. It's just, it's not a thing that's gonna happen. And consequentially, I'm not going to get 100% of the Koroks either. I would like to get most of the inventory upgrades, which means like 400 something Koroks, which is a lot. I don't know if that will happen either. I mean, as we get closer to the end of this game, there's going to be some hard decisions we have to make about what we want to include in the Let's Play and what we don't, because at some point it's just not feasible. <laughs> To be honest with you guys, I want to show everything that's like even, you know, mildly interesting or fun because that's how I like to roll. But we are talking like well over 300 parts to this Let's Play is my estimate right now, which means it's going to take about a year, <laughs> which is just ridiculous. But as long as you guys keep watching, I will keep making it. Thank you so much for all the great support the series has gotten. It's pretty crazy that we're like... I don't even know. What are we at? Like 70 episodes now? And it's still getting like a good number of views. It's still getting comments. You guys are dedicated to watching it. And that's amazing. I appreciate it. And I love you guys. I just wanted to put that out there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to the top of this thing. I suspect there's a chest or a Korok up there. I might just have to take some stamina. S uh, some stamina potions. If I even have any, I'm actually not sure that I do anymore. Potion or food. Oh, I do have a couple here. Okay. Yep. Let's burn one. I can certainly make more if I have to soon. I think we're good to spend a couple jumps here. There we go. And it's a chess. Another falcon bow, which I do not have room for. I, I gotta be honest with you guys, at some point I'm just gonna have to start using these things, even though like Things like falcon bows, I try to save them for when I really need them, but I have so many awesome bows now. Uh, I'm kind of at a point where it doesn't make sense to not use the good ones that I'm getting. I've got three falcon bows, I might as well just freaking use one. <laughs> and then like as I use them up, you know, if I'm able to pick up like other regular bows and use them. Oh, it got real cold all of a sudden in here. Jesus. I just wanted to come over and look at this shrine. But I might have to actually take a potion to exist in this area. We totally do. Well, actually, for these purposes, all we really need to do is wear the doublet and equip the flame blade. And I think we'll be just fine. Well, this is new. Cool Cephalina. This medicinal plant grows in high elevations, such as mountains in the Hira or Gerudo regions. When cooked into a dish, it will temporarily increase your heat resistance. We have to be on the lookout for new things that we haven't cataloged yet. Like an Ice Breath Lazalfos. This dude should get thoroughly rocked from this flame blade that I'm carrying. I do wonder if the uh, Meteor Rod counts as keeping me warm as well. It totally does. Nice. Alright, so what I can do is just stand up here and do that. Oh my god, how did that miss? You gotta be kidding me. That makes me so mad. Oh, okay, I'm getting I'm getting angry. I'm gonna go fucking kill somebody. Oh, he jumped right over me. There we go. <laughs> oh, I hit somebody else with it too. Nice. Dragon Bone Moblin Club. Huh. Apparently I haven't seen one of these yet. The bone of an ancient beast has been affixed to this Moblin Club, further increasing its damage. Moblins carrying these in battle are particularly dangerous. Yeah, it's weird though, because it wasn't actually a Moblin carrying it, so... You don't make any sense. 